Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Akbadi. If you're new here, I make digital art tutorials and I also take a look at the works of other amazing artists and see how we can use their techniques and learn from that and improve our own style. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I make a new video and post it on my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about something that I've noticed in the Instagram art community most especially uh with fellow artists and not necessarily the big artists but intermediate artists and some big artists as well and right now i'm just showing you a uh a drawing i made last week while i was watching the lord of the rings so i really won't be talking about the process i'm using in this video that much but if you're trying to figure out how i did this i have some tutorials over on my youtube channel where you can check out it's pretty much the same technique that I use all the time and you can learn from those ones if you're trying to understand this technique and how I use it. So first off, we all have a uh, big artist that we usually follow that inspire us and we really uh, are in love with their work, their style. We really look up to them and try to improve our works to reach their level. And whenever we have these big artists that we look up to, we really love to share their works whenever they post a new work we're always inspired ah it's an amazing image this is so good we don't really look at our peers that much but we're looking at these top tier artists and once they post a new image we're always down to share it on our stories share all the big uh top guys share their works on our instagram stories like them leave thousands of comments and leave a million likes or whatever we can do and then just keep sharing their works and if you take a look at the entire art community you always see that there's this niche of artists that are always getting seen getting their works uh shared a lot and it's always the circle just keeps going around so it's always these big guys that are getting a lot of shares on their work so it just had me thinking okay for a smaller a younger artist that's starting out right now and he's trying to grow his social media following and he keeps posting his work he keeps uh doing a lot of good work trying to improve trying really hard and he's actually getting better but no one is really looking at his work and trying to share it so if everyone is busy sharing the works of these top tier uh artists sharing their works on the instagram story which is not bad i'm not saying it's bad it's a good thing to do that there's nothing wrong with doing it but if we keep on sharing the works of these amazing top artists who is actually going to be sharing the works of these younger artists that are getting better that are improving and are trying to get their voices out there to other people for other people to see their works to appreciate their efforts who is going to be sharing the works of those artists because one we the uh people that are sharing works of amazing artists that we're looking up to we're not even aware of some underdog or some other new guy that's pretty much learning and practicing his drawing and uh posting his works because the instagram algorithm which is something that's real right now will not even allow him reach his maximum potential online it won't even allow him to share his work with a lot of people no matter how many times you post your work won't get seen by the people you want your work to get seen unless you start to share your work with someone who is uh really motivational to you or maybe you start doing fan arts and all those other things but if someone doesn't do that how are we going to find that person how is his work going to get seen and it's a really big issue right now that i feel every artist that's in this community that's trying to grow every artist that has attained some some kind of level of uh recognition level of online following it doesn't matter how many numbers you have but so far you have achieved a certain number of followers you have the right to share the works of every other person that's starting down under you that is just something that you have to be doing i feel like it's it's not talked about a lot but it's really really important because when your senior artists when all these big artists eventually uh get to the top they really won't have the time to be looking out for the younger artists the smaller artists that are growing that are trying to uh get up out there and 
pretty much get their name out because they're going to be preoccupied they're going to be working on big projects and other or other different things that artists do and even though they're not doing any of those works they might even be working on their own projects or they might just not have enough time to be spending all the hours on social media because at that level they're going to be having a lot of requests a lot of emails and a lot of people reaching out to them trying to do work or trying to have them take a look at something so it's really difficult for them to go back and start looking at the works of younger artists so i'm look i'm taking i'm taking this into consideration and that is one of the reasons why i started sharing a lot of people that leave their instagram handles on my youtube channel i start sharing their works on my instagram stories because i want a lot of these younger artists that are starting out to get seen i want them to be able to reach the recognition that they deserve because a lot of people are actually putting in work they're going through different things and we really can't tell we can't see we don't know what they are going through in their own lives and they still find a way to put in work and try to progress each day but due to the fact that the way instagram works right now it just keeps on limiting your reach and i don't know why this happens but if you're not getting an initial boost and initial uh amount of engagement within the first 30 minutes or an hour when you post an image you're going to uh, find it really difficult for that image to pretty pretty much take off and start reaching a broader audience so it's just really hard for someone that's new to even though you're really good it's going to be really hard for you to uh get that initial boost of engagement and following that you deserve and i just feel like this is something that every other artist should start doing in as much as you love sharing the works of uh top guys you know your favorite artists the big names out there it's really crucial for you to also go down and just start sharing the works of other smaller artists other talented skilled highly skilled inspiring younger artists that have a lot of potential because these younger artists are the ones that are still going to come up and start taking projects when the older artists start to pretty much uh get to the level where they decide to retire and start working on different things that might not even be art related it's these young guys that are coming right now that are going to take over those jobs take over those positions so i think it's in the best interest for us as individuals to just start sharing the works of other younger artists i know that this might be really hard for some people to do because you feel like okay why should i be sharing this guy's work he might not even be uh as good as i am or he's he might not be using the same skill using the same style that i'm using his drawing might be different he might even be uh a traditional artist so you have a lot of different things that you're thinking about in your head that will want to hold you back from sharing a person's work but i feel like it's just natural that we should do this to help another different artist it's just it's just let's just think of this as simple human beings let's say uh you you're a human being you want to grow you will want someone to do this for you but when you get to a level where you're supposed to do it for another person then you don't i mean it doesn't really make any sense to me so i feel like everyone really should just start uh making our time to take a look at the works of other people take a look at uh the works of younger artists that are really developing their skills and tagging us a lot on their own images i mean i am even guilty of doing this because whenever i start to create videos for you guys to upload on my youtube channel i really don't have that much time to even uh put in work on my own stuff so right now i'm having to draw at night and then pretty much create videos the next morning and they, this schedule is just helter skelter so i built a big backlog of a lot of instagram messages that i haven't even read and i have to go and do that this week so i can start sharing everyone's work on my instagram story as well so i'm going to use this week to put myself to the test and see how i can upload and see how i can uphold myself to this uh same video that's why i'm even making this video so i can use this video to push myself to motivate myself to even 
hold myself responsible to saying this because i feel like if i don't do this i'll just keep on neglect neglecting uh all the dms that i've received because i don't feel like i should open them and then uh talk about them but if i start making videos like this where i'm expressing what i feel everyone should be doing i feel like it will help me and it will help other artists as well so let's just do ourselves a favor let's see that we're helping each other grow let's see that we're helping the next artist that's close to us or the next artist that's starting out uh trying to develop his skills let's share their works on our instagram stories as well let's share their works on facebook we'll share their works on different social media platforms and if you're a young artist that's starting out too i suggest that you should do a lot of fan art that will also help you to get your work out there get uh your name out there because if you're trying to build a social media following you'll have to get the algorithm to work for you so if you're not using tags and all that you will really have to start doing some fan art and using tags that are being searched by from other people so if you just create a night like this that i'm drawing right now that might pretty much not get seen by a lot of people but if you're drawing uh say spider-man or some other fan art some other character from a popular franchise you're going to you're going to get fans of that character pretty much looking at your work so you can always do that even if you don't get other people sharing your art you can always go back to doing fan art and creating art that uh you will want to see and other people will really appreciate when they're fans of a certain character and see you doing it so I just hope I made sense in this video. It was just a really long rant. I was even inspired by uh, a video I saw by D'Angelo Wallace. He's a, another art YouTuber, a very fantastic person. I really love uh, his videos. He's quite funny. He makes uh, nice commentary videos talking about different things on his channel. You can check him out if you uh, don't know him. But I really love watching his videos. And I saw a video where he spoke about not really this necessarily but something else regarding the art community and it just made me think about this because i have always been thinking about it from a long time a couple of months now it has always been in my head but i just couldn't wrap my head around making a video about it and uploading it on my channel but now i think i've finally done it and i will hold myself accountable for this video and i will also start sharing a lot more work of other younger artists that are tagging me in on instagram and in as much as i've already been doing it i just feel like now i will make it a mission to promote more smaller artists so if you're a smaller artist and you're watching this video you can leave your instagram uh handles in the comment section down below and also tag me on any of your images you feel like on instagram so i will do uh i'll share it on my instagram stories and just see how i can help every other young artist just benefit from the following i have i'll just share your work with my own audience and let's hope you can uh grow with this shout outs that i'll be doing and i hope that every other artist can do this as well so if you're an artist that's watching this video and you have some sort of following i feel like you should pay it forward to the next people that are coming up uh that are coming up and making fantastic artwork younger artists i feel like you should pay it forward and help them by sharing their works on instagram as well so if it isn't a hassle it shouldn't be a hassle though but i feel like you just you owe it to the next artist coming up to share their work because you were also in that same shoes of a beginner artist and if you didn't have people sharing your work people loving your work you wouldn't have gotten this far so if you enjoyed this video please leave it a thumbs up if i made sense please share it with someone as well and uh subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and i will see you in the next video peace